Welcome to Nuclear Learning, an online initiative produced by the Stimson Centre to facilitate the study of South Asia's nuclear trajectories. Our first open online course, Nuclear South Asia, is available at nuclearlearning.org. This video is part of a special series on India and Pakistan's 1998 nuclear tests and features General Anthony Zini, former commander of the United States Central Command. We discuss military and political engagement with Pakistan after the 1998 tests. I think the, the military relationship we had at that time, especially at the top, was exceptionally strong. Uh, and we were hanging on that thin thread of that relationship because of the sanctions like the Pressler Amendment and, and other congressional sanctions, uh, and even administrative sanctions. And I'll give you one example of how strong it was uh, after 98. Uh, at the turn of the millennium in 2000, the Jordanians picked up some terrorists that were uh, attempting to attack American targets that were vacationing over the New Year's uh, in, the, in the Middle East. And when they uh, picked them up, they discovered through their interrogation that their headquarters was in uh, Karachi uh, and that uh, their, their, the cell that was running them was located there. And I was asked to contact General Musharraf uh, to have him uh, pick them up, uh, and he did. And then I was asked if uh, he would allow our CIA agents to come over and interrogate them, and he said sure. And then we asked, uh, I was asked to ask him if, uh, because the, the, the uh, interrogations led to uh, the information that the Pakistanis had picked up some computer disks, if we could have access to them, and he said sure. And so, you know, the, what we were getting is complete cooperation, yet we had these sanctions on them that were uh, very strong uh, on their military and affected our military to military operations. I think what would be important to understand is from the military perspective, U.S. military, we felt very strongly that we needed Pakistan. And these uh, sanctions were hurting our ability to work with their military, and we were going to need them in the future. We obviously knew that uh, Af Afghanistan was unstable with the Taliban and Al Qaeda. Central Asia had just come out from under the Soviet influence, and we were trying to make inroads there and create relationships. Still very difficult. There were extremist movements there, uh, and they were uncertain about relationships with the U.S. So we needed Pakistan in the region. Uh, they had a significant military. They had worked with us. They were in Somalia with us. Uh, you know, so we knew them from an operational, not just a training, but we actually had been on missions with them. We had close relationships at the top. Uh, but we were unable to move forward on the military to mil military, to military relationship. At the same time, the political le at the political level, the relationships were souring, and it was much more difficult to get things done. After 2000, they were so strained that at times when uh, our ambassador to Pakistan <clears throat> wanted to see uh, the president or wanted to see uh, prime minister uh, or the foreign minister, uh, they wouldn't see him. And I had to call General Musharraf, uh, then later President Musharraf, to arrange for the, the meetings. So. Uh, the military 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 to military relationships remain very strong and were actually being used for uh, political negotiations as happened with the Cargill event.